Hi, um, my friend Libby asked me to do um, what I'm calling the morning after the night before, I think she called um, dirty stop out makeup, which is using whatever you've got in your uh, makeup bag that you keep in your handbag. So I've got mine here, it's pretty packed. Um, I don't do this so much anymore. When I did, it was always unprepared, so I just literally used what I had with me. If you do this often, you can gear your whole makeup bag around it. Samples are the way to go. You need any, any, I've got little moisturiser samples. This is a Clinique one. Um, foundation samples are amazing. Tinted lip conditioners, all of that. If, if you know you do this a lot, then um, organise your makeup kit. Mine is, my makeup kit's mostly lipstick, which is a bit useless. Um, but I'm going to give it a go because it's, what I'm supposed to be doing, using exactly what I've got in my makeup kit. I would say if you know you do it a lot, you can now get these, which are little simple eye makeup removal pads that fit, literally would fit into your makeup kit. Um, and it really makes a difference if you can go and take your last night's makeup off. Um, even if you've slept in it for whatever reason. Although, try not to, but um, if you have, then uh, go and take it off before you put stuff back on. Um, so yeah, any any samples are great for the makeup bag. Um, I am going to literally upend what I've got in here. I think I've got a list on the sidebar of the blog saying exactly what I've got in here. There is a lot of lipstick stuff because I change that's usually what I'm doing. I'm usually going from somewhere to somewhere else and I want to change my lipstick. So that's what I've mostly got. I have got though a Liz Earl sheer skin tint colour sample um, which I keep in there which I'm not going to use because I've got it in a tube so I'm cheating because I'm going to use my open one. Um, so this is sort of a tinted moisturiser if you've got a moisturiser it's good to use that next I am going to do my eyes now I've got a very old um, body shop it's kind of white which sounds odd um, shimmery eyeshadow which I just use very lightly and actually just adds a bit of texture. It's not you don't want to use this heavily. Any pale eyeshadow that you can fit in that comes in a little um, packet is is good. Um, if you get something shiny, then you can use it as a highlighter as well if you like. <coughs> but um, kind of nudes or pales, just something to help the eyelids. I wouldn't opt for, for sort of bright blues or something for your handbag makeup kit. Next I've got my favourite which is L'Oreal um, Super Liner. This is in black. Um, I'm just going to run this along the lash line and get it on my nose. You don't need to be very precise with this because I am going to go over the top of it with a pencil. So that's the liquid liner. Next I'm going to use my very old, much loved Benefit Eye Coal. Any black or brown, depending on which you prefer, eye coal is good. But I love this one because it's got a smudger on the end, which means if I'm doing this, and I haven't got a mirror or I've got a tiny mirror or whatever, I'm in a cramped tent which rarely happens you can smudge your eye shadow, your eyeliner and it looks a bit more worn in it's just easier so I do recommend that
Okay, so that's my black eyeliner. What else have I got? I've got a sample of Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. Oh, which is a bit old. If you don't have any mascara samples, um, the pink and green one by Maybelline is a really good handbag size. concealer I've got um, Dior Skin Flash which is one of those ones you click up at the moment I like a thicker concealer but I'm using what I've got in my handbag okay quick extra layer of mascara Okay, and then I've got, my husband bought me this, um, it's a Lulu Guinness powder thing, and in it I've got Clarins translucent powder, so I'm just going to set under the eyes, and then using the smudger, run it along the lower lash line. and then use black on the waterline. This powder brush, which came with something uh, and is completely useful except in your makeup bag if you've got um, a bronzer or something, um, it is easier to apply it with a brush. So I've got a Laura Mercier sample of golden bronze pressed powder it has got a slight shimmer to it, but I am going to just just for a bit of shape, but really not too much because of the shimmer. So things can go back then. I have got, which I hated at first and now I quite like, um, Rush Hour by Benefit, which is supposed to be the all-in-one cheeks and lips, and I always found it a bit too dark. So you can see it is quite dark. But I've learned that moderation is the way to use this. So depending on what time of day it is, um, along with lots of lipsticks, I do also have this which is Gilded by Benefit, which is a sort of highlighter pencil, and if I was going somewhere after work or had not been doing my makeup until possibly the afternoon, evening, and I was going out, I would just use this as a bit of highlighter. Um, but it's 9 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not going to do that. But I do have that there as an option. Um, I'm now going to set the face with my Clarins translucent powder. I'm 
I'm going to do a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. And now for the lips. As I said, I've got loads of lip stuff in my makeup bag. Ridiculous amounts. I've got a retractable lip brush, which I can never find. So I have my Real Techniques detailer brush, which I prefer to use. Um, I've got Clarins Lip Balm, which I love. Um, so... I just use that all the time. I've got a lip coat for if I'm going somewhere fancy and I need my lipstick to really stay on. I've got Cl uh, Clinique Lip Smoothie. I've got a L'Oreal Toffee Cream Soft Cream Lipstick, which I also love, and maybe I'll use that. Um, and I've got a number seven High Shine Lip Balm, lip gloss. And I've got a number seven lip pencil, which is what I'm going to use, but I'm going to just run it all over the lip. And then I'm going to dot a tiny bit of this Clinique sugared apple over the top that comes out quite dark so that's why I'm dotting it and then on my lip brush a little bit of the soft whatever it's called toffee cream which for me is too pale on its own but if you love the 60s nude really pale lip now I'd probably just go like that but if you were a fan of gloss I would bang some of this on the top And that is the morning after the night before makeup. Obviously, depending on what time of day it was, I would adjust accordingly. I probably uh, would do some little flicks out to the side with my liquid liner normally, but as it's 9 o'clock in the morning, I'm going for really basic. I think the nice thing about having... Lots of lops, lots of lipstick options is um, having a sort of it really finishes the look. So if you have to go to work or something, if you have good lipstick, then it can sort of cover a multitude of bags and 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 uh, slightly <laughs> shaky handly done makeup. Um, so that's the finished look. I hope you like it. Bye.